Yo, what is up everybody? It is your boy Skywalker OG coming at you with another Rise of Kingdoms video and today we are going to be discussing and predicting the top 16 and how the brackets are going to shake out for the Realm of Bastet and this Osiris League. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. We have BIA coming in hot as the A1 group. I do believe they're going to solidly beat 45SD, become the A1 group. 86 JG will be taking on K916. That's going to be a very close match. K916, guys, you got to watch out for those structures. 86 JG very, very heavily on that aggressive, on those structure pushes. Very, very good team for a structure game. Um, I do believe K916 take this victory, though, and go ahead as Group A2 um, winners. So that is my predictions for that match. DNT, I do believe DNT take out K8348. K8, oh my gosh, can't even speak right now. K834, easily. And I do believe 86NK will not have too much of an issue taking out SD92, which will put DNT as B1 and 86NK as B2. Group stage winners. I do think that LW92, again, won't have too much of an issue taking out DBS. I do believe they pretty much breeze through two C1 groups group winners A804 or A04 I do believe they will take out the 77 GN guys that'll move A04 onto the semi or onto the semifinals and onto C2 bracket then you will have the Wib Alliance taking on 838 whoever is going to be the winner out of this I do believe 8 or Wib will squeak out a victory against 838 um, and go into the D1 group and then B838 go into the D2 group. Um, they are both two very, very solid alliances. Now, with that being said, Wib could sandbag a little bit. I don't think they will, but Wib could sandbag a little bit so they can get on that D2 bracket where they will be on the opposite bracket of their BIA alliance, which could potentially see BIA Wib in the finals if they both went on a tear and actually made it that far. But again, I do not think Wib's going to try to drop the ball or anything. I do believe they're going to come out hot and as good as they can against B838 and put on the pressure. I do think that they'll come out as the victors. I don't think it's going to be a big point difference difference but I do see Wib taking out this um, B838 team and then again it'll be D1 and D2. NEVL and LIU are definitely knocked out. They are out of this group stage. That is it for them. Um, coming back to K916 as you see guys it is on the 15 UTC's time slot. We will be streaming that K916 versus 86JG match at 15 UTC on Sunday. So make sure you stick with us around that time to be able to catch that match. It will be a very good one and a very interesting one to watch and see. Rays, I think a A73 might take out Rays. I don't think the points um, are in favor of 873 or the Alliance Power. So both of the secondary terms, I don't think A73 meet to be able to take A. 803 out of the division bracket because I do believe AE 803 will take on 778k and beat them which will still keep A803 in the top and Reyes will still be in the top even with a loss to A73 unless they get completely dominated by A73 which I don't see but I do see A73 taking out a win against Reyes but again that's still even if they do that that will take Reyes to either E2 or E1 um, either way I still have Rays predicted to go to E1 because their points difference is a little bit higher than the A803 group or the A73 group. So either way it shakes out, I believe Rays will come out as E1. I do believe A803 will come out as E2. That is my predictions. I think A73 will be knocked out um, just because of the points per points difference and the power. But I do think A73 is a good bet this weekend. And I do think that they might squeak out a victory versus Rays. Lost in talk here. Lost in talk. Talk really doesn't have to pull out a victory here. Uh, Lost just needs to beat K81 again, and then talk stays at the top, and they go through as long as they don't take a really bad thrashing from UN88. So either way you have it, you got Lost going in as F1, talk going in as F2. Now I do think talk will beat UN88, so that will give them the two victory, which will really solidify their place in the f2 position but again even if they do drop the ball as long as lost bring out the dub uh talk should go through um then you have 60 jt re 89 
RE89, I think, heavily will be 21 OT. I, I definitely see RE89 taking that match. That would bring RE89 going over to G2. And even if JS and P take out 60 GP or GT, GS, and GS and P's points difference are very, very minimal. Um, it still should have RE89 going through as their points difference is considerably, considerably higher. I'm not sure though, because that actually looking at it now that they had that loss there, that's 25,000 points. And then GSNP has never lost that big. Now, 60 G GT give them, you know, the PP. Obviously, it just sends GSNP out packing, anyways. Either way, I have G60 GT going out as G1 group, and then I have RE89 going out as the G2 group. For T2A, I think we will heavily beat 48 HB. Um, going through as the A1 group leaders, and then I believe Pokemon will take out A885N, and even if they don't, we will beat 48 HB, and then Pokemon and 48 HB have already fought Pokemon 1, and the point difference is already in favor of Pokemon, so Pokemon should advance as H2, either way it goes. Now let's go ahead and pop up our little map we have here because I did draw out the top 16 actually for you guys. It's, you know, not the prettiest thing in the world, but we try to give you guys a little visual so you can see what, what our predictions are, what we got working on, and what we think is going to be going down for this, uh, this season. So let's go ahead and get on into it, start discussing it. Over here on our top left hand side, we have the BIA Burn It All versus Pokemon matchup again. That's because we have them coming in as the A1 and then H2 group. <clears throat> group. So that would put them versus each other. DNT taking on the RE89. I do think RE89 had a good shot at taking out that DNT team. Um, I personally think they will. But either way, let's keep going. Then we have LW92 taking on the Talk Alliance. Talk should be able to take that one. We don't know though. LW92 on a tear. Very big alliance. Very big power. Very, very strong. WIB will be taking on A803 if my predictions are right. And WIB take out that victory. Now if WIB take the loss, they will move over to the other bracket. Which will be Raze versus WIB on the right side. But as for now, we have WIB on the left versus A803. Then if we scroll over to our right here, you will see... Let me move myself. Bam! You will see that we have our T2A team. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Boop. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, we have our T2A team taking on K916 because, again, we did say we think that 86JG will take a loss to K916. I don't think it's going to be a really heavy beater, but I do think it's going to be a close match with K916 coming out on top. Again, we will be live streaming that match, so catch us on Sunday to watch that K916 taking on 86JG match. It is going to be a stellar one. I can promise you that. Both of these teams took it to BIA very, very, very close to beating BIA, but ultimately BIA did hold strong and beat both of those teams. But again, very, very solid teams coming at that match. So anyways, moving on, we'll have 60 GT taking on 86 NK. I do believe 86 NK might put it to 60 GT. 60 GT looking very solid though. So we'll have to see how it goes. We'll put out another video after this weekend, after we have a little bit more information on these guys and see how we predict the top eight will be looking like. Now, stay tuned for that good info. Lost, I believe Lost is going to be taking on A A A04. I believe Lost will take out A04. I don't think they're gonna have too much of an issue there. A04 is very strong, but not too coordinated. B838 versus Raze on the top right hand corner. Uh, if this match goes the way I think and it is going to be B838, um, I do think Raze will be knocked out on that match. Uh, even if it doesn't and it's Wib, I do think Raze will still be knocked out. I don't think Raze is going to make it too much further, guys. Might be wrong, but that is my predictions. And again, this is how I think the top 16 will be looking after this weekend's matches. Let's go ahead and scroll back over let you look at it one more time. Again, we'll go over it one more quick time. BIA taking on Pokemon. DNT taking on RE89. LW92 taking on Talk. Wib taking on AO80. A 
803. Then you have B, 838, taking on Raise. Loss, taking on A, 04. 60 GT taking on 86 NK and T2A taking on K916. Let's see if our predictions are going to be holding up and we'll, we'll know at the end of the week after all the matches are said and done. So hopefully, you know, guys, go ahead, screenshot this, save this picture. I know it's a little, you know, childish looking. I'm not the best graphics guy, but hold me to it. See if I can uh, get all the uh, guesses right. And um, let's see how that goes. I will be putting out a bet video this weekend. I usually don't because, I mean, I usually put all the info into this video. If you care to actually listen to it, you will see who I predict will win or not. But we will do a league bet video as well this week. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Until next time, peace out. Enjoy y'all's week and have a good one.